Hi, this is Mark at Ding Dong's Garden. It's mid-February and I'm going to start uh, planting some new rows of willow. And I just wanted to show you that process. Uh, we're here, this area we used to grow a lot of garlic in. And, and I, you know, it's kind of uh, unused right now. Uh, so we want to expand our willow collection and the quantities. So we're going to go ahead and uh, plant willow here. And I just want to show you the basic steps of how we do it and how I would uh, recommend anybody do it. The way we're going to plant the willow here is going to be a little different than normal. Uh, normally it's uh, pretty dense spacing both within the row and between rows. Uh, on our other willow bed, it's uh, six inches uh, between uh, willow trees within the row and 24 inches or two feet uh, between each row. Uh, but because we were growing garlic here, the spacing of our rows is quite a bit different. So even though the spacing is gonna be a little, uh, there's greater, uh, there's gonna be more space between each willow. I think, uh, I think it'll result in more vigorous trees because uh, they do, the more root system that a willow has to work with, the more space uh, in, in terms of uh, square footage underneath or cubic feet underneath, the, uh, the larger the willow tree is gonna be. And when I say larger, all I mean is the, uh, the more vigorous. So every year when we coppice it back, it'll come back that much that much faster there's very little technology involved here we don't own a tractor and yet we can uh, make a planting that that pumps out a lot of biomass every year and the the first step of course is drip tape we have uh, we use drip tape underneath the ground cover or the weed barrier that we put on top of the ground where we plant willows and so that's the first step as we lay here i'm just going to put one one piece of drip tape because if you let that run continuously the ground beneath it will be uh, saturated over time and then over top of that I, i've got i think it's three feet here i'm i'm running a three maybe four feet uh, section of uh, of weed barrier or ground cloth uh, on top of that <coughs> and then as we get uh when we get ready to plant which means we just put sticks through this weed barrier um, uh, we just got to make sure we take care not to puncture the 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 drip tape which you can feel and see right here so every time you go to cut you'll make sure you don't you don't puncture the the drip tape <clears throat> and you can see here we don't have our irrigation uh put up yet but i do have the uh, entry point for the irrigation here and when I finish rolling out the uh, the weed barrier you can kind of see how it's going to look there uh, and we're going to produce a lot of willow in addition to producing a lot of uh, willow for either uh, floral arrangements or weaving or uh, whatever it's it's also uh, uh, very beautiful in the summer particularly in a summer breeze when it's fully grown uh, and, and I'm looking forward to filming that as well we fasten the uh, weed barrier uh, to the ground because we have high winds here I, I you know some it's not unusual to get 30 to 40 mile an hour winds that whip around the Olympic Peninsula and hit us so I use these uh, these uh, pins to to put the uh, fabric in place and this is going to be my first time doing it but uh, i'm going to tuck it in using a spade as well <clears throat> in the past i have come out here with bricks or wood or whatever and try to hold it down because uh, inevitably i'm out here after a, a winter uh, windstorm uh, uh, dragging this plastic back to where it should be so uh, but but I did see a, a nifty little way to to tuck in the plastic, so I think I'm going to try that uh, instead of weighting it down with concrete or or with wood.
Okay, we're out in the willow bed and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and cut some uh, some steaks out of our uh, existing uh, inventory of corkscrew willow. And we'll just go ahead and, and just cut them all down and then we'll figure out later what kind of uh, diameter we want on, uh, on each type. So we've, we've uh, harvested the willow and then we've cut it into segments. Uh, I think these are about a foot long each. They don't have to be that long, but uh, I, just, uh, I just went with that for now. And then uh, kind of a mixture of diameters, uh, uh, but you can get a sense of uh, that they don't, you know, they're, they're, uh, they don't have to be that thick in order to take root and, and grow. And here, uh, the first thing I do, I'm going to measure it out, and I've, I've decided on uh, one foot spacing, both within the row and between the two rows that can fit on this, uh, underneath this three foot uh, weed barrier. A lesson learned from, for me from previous plantings is to kind of keep an eye on where the drip tape is under the uh, the weed barrier because you know once you start cutting uh, holes for the stakes to go into because the even if the stakes are pointed they still can't kind of puncture that uh, that thicker weed barrier so uh, we anyway you just want to make sure that the uh, you don't puncture the drip tape uh, when you're when you're doing this and now it's just a matter of putting the uh, putting the sticks in and, and the only care I take is to make sure that they're right side up because unlike other things we grow you know if you if you put the garlic bulb in upside down it, it knows which way to go but unfortunately for willow uh, you know for whatever reason it's not gonna be able to figure out the the right direction or it may but it's just uh, got a lower success rate And here we are, everything is uh, planted. Um, and you can kind of get a sense that like, if let me pan back a little bit, uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna become a beautiful hedge. So this is the same procedure that you would use to, you know, make a willow fence or a fedge or, or, or kind of a privacy hedge using willow. You would, you, you could put a weed barrier down for, you know, you leave that there for the first few years to get it established. It's got irrigation for the first few years to get established. Uh, if it's in a wet area, you can pull both of those up over time. But if it's in a dry area and you want a, a, a privacy hedge or a willow fence, you're gonna have to uh, keep it well watered. Uh, so we'll come back out and look at this uh this spring and and see how it looks but uh you know willow if you gotta grow something uh start with willow because uh it's uh it's super easy and these guys should uh, these should guys should take root over the next few weeks and as it warms up uh they'll start putting out leaves <laughs> 